Do you like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? You do? Well imagine if they were rodents like Splinter, and one of them was a spaceship, and they were bounty hunters in space. Say hello to Galactic Rodents of Mayhem, aka Grom. Gilbert Deltrez, I hope I got that right, is on a mission to bring the fun back in comics. Neither of those three letters are in that word, but... Okay. Galactic Rodents of Mayhem is an off-the-rails, edge-of-your-seat, deep space sci-fi adventure featuring your soon-to-be fur 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 favorite That's a weird word. Capybara bounty hunters. After a hefty $100 million bounty is suddenly put on their heads, Bash, Ripple, and Mona Lisa embark on a deadly cat-and-mouse game of survival that pits them against the menacing Dark Raider. This sounds great and really, really interesting, but who are Grom? Meet Bash, bounty hunter and combat specialist, seeker of justice, bringer of truth. He loves hard and fights harder. Oh my. Grit and sacrifice course the lifeblood running underneath his fur. A true capybara of action. Never saw anything that scared him. Ripple, bounty hunter and digiblade fighter pilot. Ace of all trades, joker of none. Unexpected daredevil savior. The Zen master of spaceflight, mellow spirit, hard-boiled resolve, wildest of wild cards, the fairy embodiment of capybarassery, and he just wants to be an intergalactic rock star. Mona Lisa, bounty hunter and hacker extraordinaire, the beauty, the brains, the wielder of an unruly blade. Her rudeness at times knows no bounds, just like her proficiency in the realm of gadgetry and digital tech. She is the order and the discipline within her capybara brethren and she loves slicing and dicing metal stuff. Burning Rose, aka Rosie. Um, there's, there's no description for, for Rosie, just, uh, j j just a name. Um, it's, uh, um, uh, Rosie's a spaceship and could probably do some sweet flips and shit. That's, that's, that's kind of badass, I guess. The Grom team, comprised of writer Gilbert Deltrez, artist Sebastian Navas, colorist Diego Barca, and letterer Davison Maines. Take a shot of vodka for every name I butchered there. Are looking to raise $22,000 by late October this year. That's in Australian dollars, because I'm an Aussie. By default, that's what I'll see when I go to their page. So about 15,000 US dollars, with a release date of April 2020. So what mayhem-filled perks do they have to offer? For 37 Australian dollars, 25 USD, you can get the physical copy. But if you're the kind of person who loves to zoom in to read the two word dialogue box in panel five, then there's a digital edition perk for 22 Australian dollars, 15 USD for you freedom lovers. Or if you love to have a sexy pinup of Capybara bounty hunter Mona Lisa, no judgment from me if that's your kink, at least for now, Alongside the comic, then there's the collector's edition perk for 59 Australian dollars, about 40 Yankee dollary dues, plus heaps more. If Grom is your kind of comic, then definitely check it out and back it. Link in bio, as a certain suicide forest dweller would say. I'll definitely be supporting this project. Plot is interesting, characters seem like fun, but what really pulled me in is that cover. That is a great looking cover. Really caught my down under eyes. Back Grom right now, before the campaign ends in Spooktober.